Okay, just reviewing some correspondence games that I've played over the last month. And I used to play correspondence matches quite often um, on Game Not. So I've gone back onto Game Not now. I went on there, was it 2011 or something like that? And as I was practicing and training, I then got to like 1600 and kept a, con a consistent 1600 for about two years so I felt really happy and comfortable that you know I was um, operating quite nicely at that level and that's when I decided then to go and start playing some over the board real games you know against real people and stuff that's when I got the shock of my life but hey you know that's a different story that's in another video so these games here now I've come back onto game not and basically starting from scratch starting from zero and just basically working my way through the the system and looking at the quality of my games i'm not looking at the rating in that sense i'm looking more at the quality of the games as we're going through on the correspondence side these are three days a move so i've got plenty of time to think strategize etc and i still make mistakes you know i'm only human so not just because we've got three days to make a move doesn't mean I'm selecting the right move. So let's clear that one up straight off. But in essence, I think it's about me really getting a good understanding of the answer process, um, utilizing the mantra process underneath the answer and now using the, the logical creative answer to chess system within there because that was a key element that needed working on and so now the package feels more complete there'll always be something to add to it or to take away from um, the whole answer process um, but as we're developing we're actually finding these things to work on which is a good thing rather than sitting here saying yes I have found the complete answer I don't need to listen to anybody else don't need to watch any more videos no more um, reading of chess or anything like that no that's not the way that I'm thinking um, I've got to do a lot more um, of all of those things and keep on challenging myself all the time if I want to grow in my own personal development of chess so we played black in this particular game and this was the first game that I played so I was being a bit tentative because playing online I'm like oh well you know okay they've got three days to make a move they've got three days to use all sorts of assistive tools or etc but I've knocked that on the head and I says look I'm coming on here playing a genuine game I'm hoping I'm playing against genuine people so they develop their night I've kept the gauge bar on as well just to show what the computer thinks of um, of our moves and they push through with the pawn so instantly I'm in the mode of attacking trying to remove pieces from the ball strategically um, we don't snap it up straight away we're still looking to formulate our base we want to get castled kingside so we do have an opportunity to remove a piece off the board but it doesn't make much sense to take it at that moment because <clears throat> it's giving the bishop a, a bit of a power base so the knight moves so then we bring the bishop through and the computer does not like this move to me I'm still comfortable but there must be a tactic somewhere that would really disturb me and at that time I didn't see it you know I felt fairly comfortable with the move I'm thinking well what could it be because at the end of the day I've moved my bishop here he can now take my bishop can I not just take his bishop back but if I take his bishop back then does he just get the pawn is that that what it's saying I don't think the depth of the um, gauge bar is showing that it's just because they win a pawn so there must be something else to that position but it didn't concern me at the time so the opponent brought their bishop down attacking so I believe it was probably something along the lines of them bishop, the bishop actually taking because of maybe the element of them catching this pawn at some stage but I didn't see it and the opponent didn't see it either so not going to lose any sleep over something we both didn't see so we castled 
and then the opponent played like a, a very soft move I thought because I thought there's some um, action going on here that could be developed so we developed our knight keeping the tension in a sense we didn't bring the bishop back we thought well if he does take then we can do some exchanges we probably may have lost out in those exchanges but at that moment I didn't see it from the calculations that I'd put in place so again another soft move pushing the pawns down at this stage as, as you can see the gauge bar showing we're in favour here but it's okay the engine showing that um, I could I see it on the board I made my natural move which was to capture the knight off the board I think at this stage here I kind of realized that there was some type of move order that would put me in danger and I needed to get rid of the knight <clears throat> so getting rid of the knight was pretty smooth I thought but the gauge bar showing well it's just the drawn position from this particular situation so we turn it on its head and we look to attack the bishop computer doesn't like that move but I like it it feels okay we're attacking a piece knights hunt the bishops in our mantra couldn't see anything majorly wrong with that so the queen comes down so as the queen is down I'm thinking well where is it going what is it supporting what's the attack what's the attack picture or is he just protecting this pawn because I couldn't really see any direct line here couldn't see a line through because the pawn is blocking the queen so was he looking to try and get the bishop and I think he's come down there looking to try and get the bishop because the bishop's not supported so in the meantime we can capture his bishop so they capture with the pawn so a slight advantage at the moment and then push on to the bishop so we bring the bishop back into a nice position of attack so attacking the pawn here it's got no protection on and the rook comes down the rook has no place in the center of the board I class this as a center of board so you know any place that is not on the back rank for the rook if it's not supported by its other rook a class has been in the center of the board it has no place there it needs to be so supported by its rook or supported by the queen or supported by a piece on a file so that it's operating with its full strength and there are occasions where that doesn't happen and you can sacrifice the rook etc etc you can do a casper off and just exchange it for a knight or a bishop that type of thing but that potentially is later on in the game when everything is almost kind of sewn up and it is like laid on a plate that you're going to get some major advantage from there that wasn't the case here I don't think so we captured the pawn leaning onto the queen and started to develop the queen so the queen now is attacking the bishop here the bishop doesn't have any protection on it at the moment so the rook comes through now looking to x-ray through to our queen so we develop the knight and the knight is now looking for a golden golden square but it now it's achieved it in a sense the knight is there so we could take the knight off the board or we could move it to a better position two on one now on the bishop it's got sights off here but this rook at the minute is here if the rook moved back and it forgot itself then the knight could sit quite nicely here with a fork on the king and also on the queen as well <clears throat> king moves out of the way because i think they sense this type of maneuver so we bring the knight across now just attacking the the queen if you see the bishop is actually protecting so if the rook did take then the bishop would be able to take so he does the small piece attacking the queen and we start putting checks on the king now we're trying to say okay this is the position that we're looking at here not it's not a tactics thing we like position so we can put a check on the king the king is in the center of the board a bit like the rooks kings don't have any place in the center of the board um, unless of course it's really to their benefit somehow and they're going and they get to safety um, somewhere so it looks like the king is attempting to do a king walk but it's a bit too late to the party because checkmate is just around the corner so that was a pretty smooth game in terms of appropriate targeting not overextending keeping a little bit of tension but not tension per se as in old school locking down it was more of a creative logical um, 
retention of moves if you like <laughs> I think that's about right yeah um, so in order to maintain a good position for ourselves although earlier on I do believe potentially that the knight could have probably won them a little bit of tempo if the opponent had played it correctly and I only realised that once my dark square bishop was out then I decided to take the knight off the ball because I realised that hmm, I think the, the move order here might not be in our favour so it's trying to spot little things like that, those tempo wins, because if somebody does take advantage of it, then you're on the back foot chasing your tail. <laughs> 